Hey fam, uh, this is Ton back with uh, another uh, Toilet Highlander project. Um, today I am going to attempt to remove this key wireless phone charger out of the center console. Um, like many of you who do have this, when I first bought this car, I was excited about this feature in this Toyota. However, after actual use, I've never been able to actually charge my phone, especially when I realized that I use Android Auto. And so my phone uh, doesn't really sit in this case anyways, uh, mo for the most part. I usually have it sitting here, clipped to here, so I can uh, monitor incoming uh, calls and things like that. But in any case, just to give you an idea, if I were to turn on my car, and I turn this on, doesn't do anything. That's because my phone case is too thick. So this thing is freaking clunky as heck. So why not just remove this out, create more space in there. I also bought some aftermarket um, center console organizer um, that I'll stick in here and also an aftermarket tray. So I'm gonna put that in and see how this looks once this uh, piece is removed out. So in order to do this, uh, a few tools you need is you will need a T20 torque screwdriver or bit to put on a screwdriver. So that way you can remove six T20 Torx screws right down there. You can probably see them right there. So once we remove that, that'll give us access to remove this bottom panel out and then it'll expose the wiring harness that, that will disconnect as the first steps to um, taking this out. All right, so I got five out of the six screws out. So just taking out this last one right now. And I just put these screws just right in the little plate that's inside of the center console for now. And that should allow us to remove this bottom piece right here. go so this bottom part we just take out and that's going to expose the spring right down here and the power connection right over here so now that this is disconnected you'll see this little cable right here um, try to put it push it out of the way and push it into the hole right here and what we're going to do is we're going to try to remove this spring out. I know that there's two screws on the outside, uh, so we'll see um, what's the best way to, to get this out. Hey, I guess that worked. You don't have to remove these pieces after all. So I've taken the key charger out. We'll put that to the side. All right, so taking out the key charger was pretty easy. And so what's left behind is this big chunk, this big old spring loaded thing and then this uh, other plastic piece right here that protrudes. If you're happy with the way that is, you, I guess you can just leave it the way it is. Uh, but however, I want to free up as much room as possible to see if I can fit some, some of these aftermarket um, uh, organizers that I bought on Amazon. So I'm gonna try to take these out. First thing we're gonna do is remove this piece, this piece, and this back piece. And they all should just pop out pretty easily just by little love with your hands like that there we go 
push that aside. Same thing here, pull it straight up, pull it to the side. And then same for the back piece. This has one, two, three, four, five, six pieces that clamp on. So as you see, all I did was lift it straight up and that'll give me access to the side pieces. I need to access the passenger side because that's where the two screws are gonna be on this side. And I'll see if I can pull this out a little bit to try to gain access to see if I can pop this little thing out as well. So let me hop into the back seat real quick. Alright, so just pull straight back. This little piece pops out. We'll put that in later. I'm gonna pull out this part right here. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's two screws in there that we're going to take out. All right, so here is a close-up of where I am right now. I got this back part pulled out a little bit just so I can get access to the screws that I need to back here. Now, you really don't need to take this piece off all the way, but you just need to give it to get enough access to get to the two screws that are right in here. Um, I'm trying my best to show you where those screws are, but if you're doing this yourself, you, you, it's self-explanatory. Basically, wherever this piece is, just align it to, to the other side of your fingers, and you'll see that there's two screws right on the other side here that you'll need to remove. Now, you have to be careful that you don't want to, these screws to fall down into your center, center console and get lost so it might be good to have like a some sort of magnet nearby or something to catch it just in case uh, uh, once you unscrew it from your screwdriver that um, it doesn't fall down and get lost into um, the nether world this is going to be impossible to do w w while recording so i'm just going to do this part and then we'll move on to the next step here all right, so I was digging in my garage and I found this uh, old magnet thing that I used to use when I would lose uh, bolts uh, under the hood. So I'll try this out to try to capture the screw as it comes out and see if this works while I'm unscrewing it out.
Ha! Success. Got it. All right, we'll just do the same thing to the second screw that's holding that plastic bolt in. Success. <laughs> All right. So that should give us the ability for this bolt to just simply fall out. And that's all we need to do on this side right here. Um, this thing right here, it's a little annoying. So I want to see if I can remove this piece by accessing the other side. Um, also, I have to move my driver's side uh, seat up to see if I can get some better access here. All right, and upon further inspection on the driver's side, this thing here has um, two pressure points, one here and one here. If you push them, you can actually pop this back in like I've done right here. And I'm actually going to keep this uh, wiring harness dangling inside because I'm going to see in the future if it's possible to use this as a power source to hook up like uh, something else, like a, a rear view camera or something like that. So here's what we got. Let's push this piece through. And then it's going to... Allow you to push the rests. Man, again, kind of hard with one hand, but basically the idea is to get this wiring harness through the hole, so that way you can take out that uh, plastic piece and then feed that wiring harness back through. That's the idea. Much easier with two hands. So again, this piece just came right off. I want to save these pieces. And then we'll just take this wiring harness and we'll feed it back through the hole. And then this is going to remain dangling here. It's out of the way. And um, if I need to use it in the future, it'll be there for me. So at this point, we just put back everything back uh, on in reverse order. And that'll complete this little project. Then uh, I'm going to put on some of the aftermarket um organizers and we'll see how that looks and how that transforms the center console moving forward all right so we're down the home stretch uh, i went ahead and put this back piece on already uh, i previously already had this um, net right here so that way my wife can put her purse right here so it doesn't fall back so i put that piece on so all we got to do is put these uh two pieces back on and then I'm going to see if uh, some of this aftermarket uh, organization stuff I bought on Amazon uh, would uh, would work here. So this is just pops right back on. One side. Second side. we go if you look inside let me shine some light down here got all this space in here and so what I bought all right so this organizer I bought from this company called OCD organizers and basically is what you see right here is going to comp compartmentalize the bottom of this abyss so that way things can be a little bit more organized in there so 
So basically, you have to install this inside of the console because uh, it's not going to fit if you try to do it beforehand. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what the compartment looks like with the six compartments in there. So before, you know, I would have um, like these wet wipes for the kids and uh, gloves, microfiber cloth with COVID and everything. You got a bunch of masks in there for, uh, on standby. So now I can put stuff into each compartment. Maybe one compartment might have um, my gloves for now. Maybe I'll stick this in there. My gloves can be in another compartment for now so things don't get uh, sloshed around. And um, so far, it's cool. Uh, the other thing that I ended up purchasing is this organizer right here. So this organizer can hold coins and uh, your various knickknacks on the top. So for this, this is going to replace this piece right here, which is the smaller OEM factory tray. So this is what it looked like. It still slides around. Still closes it. I'll put this in there. Close it. Open it. Get access to what I need. And it's a beautiful thing. So this is the project for this weekend. Hopefully this gives you some ideas. I'll be sure to put um, the various products in the link. So if you decide you do want this organizer or this uh, tray, uh, you can definitely um, go to Amazon and, and pick it up for yourself. Anywho, hopefully this helps uh, any of those individuals that uh, were initially scared to take out that wireless charger. And hopefully this will give you some more insight in how you can do it on your own because I believe in self-empowerment. That's why I make these videos. Again, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I, I get motivated uh, when you uh, share me your ideas about what you want to see next. I got three or four ideas for um, some uh, future videos. So stay tuned, everyone. Peace.